open up your web browser and go to theblueprints.com the next step is to press or left click on the, bl the blueprints database and actually we didn't even really need to do that all we needed to do is do a quick search so just click over here and type in Gallardo then just press enter like I did and we're going to be making the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 so left click on this and I'm using Google Chrome if you're using a different browser the steps to do this may be different if you need help just let me know in the comments and I will try to help you but for Google Chrome we're gonna right click on this choose inspect we're gonna scroll up a little and you're gonna right click on any of these links and choose open in a new tab now we're gonna left click on this image to make it bigger right click and choose save image as we're going to leave the name at default and I'm going to save this to my desktop so I'm gonna left click on desktop and it will automatically save it to my desktop so I'm gonna click save now that we're done with this we can close it I usually have a network of folders where I save my stuff so you can set up something similar to mine or you can make your own file system if you want I save my stuff usually in art stuff and my blender file cars and for this one we're gonna be making a lower poly car so I'm gonna click on low poly cars and then usually what I'll do is I'll right click and go to new folder and then I'll go over here, I'll left click, left click again to get the name highlighted, and then right click, copy. And we're just going to paste the name over here by just left clicking once and control V to paste it. I've already done this once, so I'm actually not going to do it, but now you would just hit enter at this point and you would have a folder just like mine. So like I said, I'm not going to bother with this, I'm going to delete this, fo this folder. and then we want to go into this folder and this is where I put this reference image here so just drag and drop put it here I've already done that so I'm going to delete this file you'll notice I also have a reference folder this is where I store all of my real-world pictures so you can make a reference folder if you would like to as well now that Blender's open, we're just going to left click on this, and you'll notice I'm using Blender version 2.78a, but it actually shouldn't make much of a difference which version you're using. So I'm just going to left click on this to get rid of this splash screen. And for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here and left click on that plus, and I'm going to turn on screencast keys. You don't have to do this, this is just so you can see the buttons that I'm pressing right here. This is just it's a not essential step so you don't have to worry about this step so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press A twice to select everything it should all be orange press the delete key and confirm that you want to delete by left clicking and now you will want to scroll down all the way to the bottom here so if this window is not open you can either press the N key over here with your mouse over here or press this plus and that will open this up then go to the bottom and left click on background images and then click on this triangle to open up this menu and we click on add image four times so one two three four and before we go too far we're actually just gonna save this uh, file so it's easier to save later so we're just gonna go to file and save as I've already navigated I guess to this location basically but you're gonna wanna go to like wherever you saved your reference images like mine was desktop, art stuff, blender stuff, cars, low poly practice and then Lamborghini 
and I'm just gonna give it today's date and then the same name as what I named my folder and this isn't the practice anymore this is the real thing so I'm just gonna leave it like this and then click save as blender file now we're going to go to open and we're going to open this file since we saved it in this so we saved our blender file in the same folder as this file it's automatically going to bring us to that location which is why it's nice to do the saving thing first so just left click on this and go open image and we're going to change this from all views to right view and then press 3 on the number pad and then 5 3 brings us into right view and 5 brings us into orthographic which allows us to see um, background images if you're in perspective mode like if I hit 5 again and you're in perspective mode you will not see this background image so you have to press 5 on your number pad in order to see the orthographic view and see your reference images so as we've done before we're going to use this slider to move the image left and right you can left click and drag and left click and drag to hold shift will move it slower so holding shift will move it slower and then this one goes up and down so we're gonna move this down you want the front of the car to be where the blue is the blue line and the bottom of the car to be relatively close to the green line so mine looks pretty good this looks like it's in a good spot so we're done with the right view now we're going to do the top view so I'm going to change this one from all views to top click on this little icon here choose our image with your mouse over here press 7 to go to top view and for top view you're going to have to change the rotation so this is the rotation left click here change it to negative 90 and press enter and again we're going to slide this left and right using these sliders up and down with this one and just move it until it's centered you can use a logo in the front if there is one to center it and in this case it just kind of comes to a point so you can kind of tell where the center is roughly if it's not perfectly centered it's not usually too much of a problem but try to do your best and then again you want the front of the car to be where this red line is and the center to be where this green line is so this looks pretty decent I guess I'm gonna leave it like that so top views done now we're gonna go to front view so change this one from all views to front view again load up our image by left clicking here and choosing our image press 1 to go into front view once again we're gonna to want to move this left and down as well but we're going to use the same value for the height as we use for the side because you notice that they're basically you know lined up perfectly to be to be used in that fashion so we're going to take this value from the right view left click here control C to copy then right click to get rid of this highlight and in the front view which is this one we want to left click here control V to paste and then press enter that'll bring it down to the right the correct level so we don't have to mess with this number anymore we can just move it left and right by left clicking holding shift and dragging trying to center this as best we can something like that is probably about where it needs to be so now we're gonna do the back view and for the back view we can steal this left to right value because you see that it's basically centered on the back with this value so we're gonna left click here control C to copy right click to get out of this to remove that highlight and now change this to back view left click here choose our image again control 1 to go to back view and we've already copied our number we've already copied this number so we can left click here control V to paste it and press enter now it's centered so now all we have to do is move it up some 
and make it so that the wheels are above the red line. If you have any space between the red line and the wheels, you want to make sure it's consistent. So right here we have a little space. If we go to front view by pressing 1, we have a similar amount of space, but it's actually a less space on front view. So we want to go back to control 1 for back view and make sure that we have a little less space so that it's consistent. That will help make sure that they're both lined up relatively correctly. That's going to be good enough, I guess. So now we have all of our images set. You can press 1 to go to front view, 3 side view, 7 top view, and control 1 for back view. So now we're going to get started with the modeling.